Good afternoon. Mr. Burita, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly an honor and a pleasure for me to be here today. It is really, really an exciting day. This is a great day for the Netherlands. It's a great day for the industry in this region. And it's a great day for QRM. We're living in some very difficult economic times right now. As you all know, of course, not only in Europe, but in also in USA and in most of the world. And these economic times are even more difficult for manufacturing companies. If you're in the business of manufacturing, it's even harder for three reasons. The first reason is that we have the technology today to make a lot of different products on our machines. We have the software and hardware that can make a high variety of products. And customers know that. And so they want a lot of different products. They don't want the same thing again and again. Because we can do it, so they expect it. And <clears throat> the second issue is that everybody knows that inventory is bad. They've been told, you don't have to carry stock. So nobody wants to carry stock because everybody says you don't have to have it. So that means now they want something that is special to them, customized for their needs, and they want it very quickly because they don't have any stock. And the third thing we're seeing today is the intense competition we have from the low-cost countries. If you live in a developed country like the Netherlands, like the United States and Europe, where we pay our people a decent wage, not only the people, the managers in the nice offices with the ties, but even the guy running the machine, <clears throat> or the lady that's helping with the assembly line, they all get a decent salary. And we're happy for that, we're proud for it, but it means that the low-cost countries are really able to invade our markets because of their cost ability to make our products at lower cost. So for manufacturing companies in advanced nations today, there are these three challenges. So the question is, how do you make individually customized products exactly what the customer wants and give it to them at a very short lead time and at a competitive cost? And the answer, ladies and gentlemen, the answer is quick response manufacturing or QRM. We have seen a lot of success with QRM in the United States with companies, and we've proven now that it works. Many years ago, when I first started thinking about it, the ideas were quite strange and different, and people were thinking I'm some crazy academic living in an ivory tower and thinking of these ideas that are not going to work. But we have proved that it works with many companies. And now, also here, in the Netherlands and in this region, we have some, a few really big successes already. And thanks to the Lean team who invited me to first come to the Netherlands and start this journey of QRM. And now thanks to the QRM Center uh, in Europe now, which is a collection of many universities and industries that are, are working together to spread QRM in this region. Thanks to these activities now, we are starting to see that this can work in the Netherlands and in this region also. <coughs> So there's a lot of potential, and in fact, if you ask me, and Mr. DeRita, thank you for your story, because you talked about exactly the fact that this used to be a great industrial town of textiles, and you have lost that industry. So if you ask me, what is the future of manufacturing in an advanced nation? When you have a nation that pays its people respectable <coughs> salaries, where everybody can have a good job and a decent life, and at the same time, we want to be competitive in manufacturing. What's the future of manufacturing in this kind of society? And in my opinion, the future of manufacturing is through strategies like quick response manufacturing. And uh, we have seen that. We have proved it already with a few companies. And so I think that my vision is that this is a great opportunity for industry in the Netherlands and in this region. <laughs> But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, implementing QRM is not easy. It's not easy because you have to change a hundred years of tradition 
of management thinking based on mass production. You have to change a lot of traditional thinking and, and get people to believe that these new ideas will work. And not only do you need to know the principles of QRM, but you need to know how to impact an organization and create a change and actually implement QRM. So for QRM to be successful in the long run, it's not enough that there's just myself or a few people at the Lean team who know about QRM. We need leaders and champions from industry who truly understand not only the principles of QRM, but how to actually implement them in organizations and be able to make the changes that are necessary, the big changes that are necessary in order for QRM to succeed. And change is not easy. Change is not easy for people. It's not easy for organizations. It's not easy when you have management thinking going back 100 years that says this is the right thing to do and all of a sudden we're saying no, you have to turn 180 degrees and do it the other way around. The change is not easy, but this is what we need, is we need the leaders and champions who will know how to create these changes to keep your industry competitive. And so I think it is extremely fitting today that I was fortunate to be in the Netherlands to be here for this great event because today what we are seeing is the first graduating class of those industry leaders and champions who are going to be able to go out and successfully bring QRM to your industry here in the Netherlands and in the region. So I'm very pleased and very honored to be here, to be part of this, to see this first class of graduates going out and starting to spread QRM in industry. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate all of the graduates here today for being the pioneers in this program. I would like to thank the QRM uh, Management Center and the Lean team for bringing this program to Dutch industry and to the local industry. I think this is a great effort and I think it's going to be really, really important for the future of this country and for your industry in this region. And so, I would like to congratulate the graduates, also thank the pioneers from the Lean Team and the Curum Management Center for putting this program together, and also again to thank you for the honor of being here to be able to personally witness the first graduating class. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for QRM. <laughs>